This is going to be a tutorial of how to achieve a Blake Lively look. I've um, chosen this picture, which I think is quite a rep good representation of how she dresses and how her style is on a day to day basis. Um, it's not so much an evening look, but it's more of a day to day Blake Lively look. And I really hope you enjoy. Thanks! Hi guys, so to start the tutorial you're going to need to curl your hair. I didn't include this in the video as it would sort of just be teaching you how to use hair tongs and I'm kind of assuming most people do know how to use them. If not, I can do a tutorial on that too I guess. Um, but yeah, so first of all I've got my hair all curled, big curls, and I used my Boots Maximum Hold hairspray to hold it all in, which is really good, I love this stuff, it's about £1.20 this massive bottle, it's really really good got loads of different types as well okay so what you need to do is I'm going to start with my hair first of all just because I want to get it out of my face to do the makeup so first of all I'm going to take the front some front sections so let's just say these, this part here and I'm going to braid it backwards sort of here because that's sort of like a very Blake Lively thing to do in my opinion. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna break this. You've got that, you just gonna wanna push the rest of the hair forward. Sort of, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit, it doesn't have to look, you know, like a linear plait, it doesn't have to be neat. And then you're gonna take a clip, I'm just using like a regular bobby pin, and I'm gonna clip this under a piece of hair. So the clip is here and there's other piece of hair is going to fall over the clip to make it sort of blend. So there's the my interpretation of the Blake Lively hair. I didn't want to go too overboard with lots of plaits. I sort of just wanted the one the one plait. So that's that. Alright so next up we're going to start on the base. Blake has like the most flawless skin ever so to recreate this I'm going to pack on some hay flawless my benefit um, just to make sure this goes on like really perfect I'm using some color uh, color correcting primer which is by Revlon and I love this stuff for just giving a really lovely base and um, yeah so I'm gonna have a couple squirts on my fingers and I'm gonna all right so next it's all blended in Gonna want to take a foundation brush. I'm using. I'm not. <laughs> I'm still in limbo about my foundation brushes. So at the moment, I'm using this sort of finishing brush as a foundation brush. It's synthetic, so it works with foundation. But um, I've just ordered some Real Techniques brushes, so they should arrive when I come back in the UK, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so a couple drops on the end of my foundation brush, and I'm gonna buff it into the skin really well. There we go. It's all blended as far as I'm aware. Yeah, just the guy. Okay, next up, I'm going to contour as Blake has really lovely, slim looking face. So I'm going to contour to try and get mine to look like that too. Um, so I'm going to use this Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals! Photan in SPF 15. Okay, so I'm using this angle brush. And then, so I'm going to contour the under the cheekbones. That's a bit extreme, huh? Um, and also... Um, now, in the picture I looked at for Blake, which will be at the beginning of this video, um, I noticed that she was wearing quite heavy blush so I'm going to use this sleek palette and it's in lace and I'm going to use this colour which is called crochet which is a really bright bright red so I'm going to tap some off my hands all right so for the eyes we're going to start off with a base I'm going to use my MAC paint pot in Bear Study and I'm going to use my ring finger to blend this 
into my, all over my lap, all over my lid. All over my lid. Oh, I forgot to mention, I already primed my eyelids with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Right, okay, so next up, I'm going to take a flat shader brush. And I'm going to take this, this gold here, from the sleek, what is it, the original palette. And I'm going to take this and place it across two thirds of the eye, stopping before the inner third. So, from here, outwards. Very shimmery eyes going on. So I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush. This is another brush from that set, and I'm gonna take this Barry M pigment, and this is in I think it's called Mush. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna apply it to the sort of to the outer third, not not working into the crease just yet. I'm gonna pack that on. Um, so there we go, we've got the gold into brown. And another thing that Blake does is she puts a white colour in the inner corner, which really opens up her eyes. Right, so I'm going to use my Bad Girl palette by Sleek, and I'm going to use this colour here, which is a really lovely white. I don't have the names anymore because I took off the front like plastic panel it's the white one in the bad girl palette and I'm going to apply this into the inner corner so now you're going to want to take a black liquid eyeliner mine I wouldn't recommend as it's pretty much from the equivalent of a pound shop and you know it'll do but I do need to invest in a nicer liquid eyeliner um, and you're going to want to take this and you're going to want to put it as close to the lash line as you can. It just gives the eyelashes a bit more depth. Alright, so now you're going to want to apply mascara. I'm taking my Max Factor False, false Lash Effect. And this is a 24 hour version, so it pretty much doesn't come off with anything. And it's really quite thickening at the same time, so it's brilliant. Um, so you're going to want to apply this to... eye makeup complete. Alright now we're going to move on to the lips. I'm going to use this Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait. So yeah. And in that picture I've also noticed that her lips are incredibly glossy so I'm going to use this Life on the A-List by Benefit and it's quite sheer but it's just one of their lip glosses. I think they're called lip, big lip glosses. But yeah, so I'm going to apply that to Um, okay, so for a final touch, Blair is always quite Blair. Blair is not quite tan, Blair is quite tan, but I mean Blake. Blake, oh, I don't know how many times said Blair. If I said Blair, embarrassing. So I'm going to take my MUA bronzer. And I'm going to take a like this huge brush. It's, it's a massive, a massive brush. And I'm going to take this, and I'm basically going to um, dab the bronzer onto my temples and down the sides of my face. And here's the completed look. I really hope you enjoy. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you didn't, let me know why, and I hope I can improve. Um, thanks so much to all my subscribers I've had so far, it's been brilliant, it's been a brilliant start to YouTube, thank you so much everyone, thanks!